Hey, peeps, and welcome back to another episode of The Monarchy. It is a beautiful day out, and we have a whole heck of a lot to do today. But first, peeps, we got to do some recapping of, uh, of events that have passed, especially with McWoods over here. But yes, yeah, so last episode, me and Ross kind of got into it. I, uh, I pranked him a little bit. He retaliated <laughs> very fiercely. Uh, I was left with three wolves, and uh, and it, it kept going after that episode ended, peeps. So I, I, this morning, I woke up, and I found that my character was ransacked. I accidentally left the door open when I when I logged out last night, so Ross was able to get into my base, take stuff off of my inventory, and rig C4 to my base! So yeah, he put C4 on my preserving bin, my mortar and pestle, and my smithy. So that's why, uh, yeah, that's why things look a little different in here than in the last episode, because, uh, it, it exploded. As soon as I opened my preserving bin, my base detonated, and, uh, it destroyed basically everything. Now, in the moment, I was pretty upset about it, but thankfully I was able to get everything back. And, uh, and later, me and Ross got into a voice call, and we, we talked it out, we sorted everything through, we wanted no bad blood. The way we settled things was, he came over to my base, I gave him the stuff I took off of his inventory, he gave me the stuff he took off of mine, and he also uh, gave me structures to rebuild my base, and Fat Dog was nice enough to also give us two wolves! So, uh, this wolf here, and, and, uh, and one of the other wolves, I don't remember which one but uh, I think it was I think it was this wolf and this wolf he gave me as as kind of like a consolidation which I didn't I didn't ask for he just wanted to give me them I gave Ross a uh, thousand clay so as far as I'm concerned water under the bridge I've got no bad blood towards him he's got no bad blood towards me thankfully everything that happened I I was able to get it back the only thing I really wasn't able to get back was the beast the beast's high melee is of course permanently gone but I still have really good wolves, and we actually got two really high imprints on some of these. Like, this one's at 67%. Unfortunately, uh, I think it wanted kibble as its last imprint, so we weren't able to get there all the way. But these are great stats. Sweet Tooth here is now our, going to be our main dire wolf, other than uh, other than Melon Lord. I don't want to use Melon Lord anymore, because out of all of these wolves, peeps, he is our only male. So I really do not want to lose him. But yes... Let's go ahead and talk about the Thorny Dragon, and I guess instead of talking about it, I'll go ahead and show you, so here is that clip. Alright, so I've just trapped this Thorny Dragon, and Cobbs says that she'll come over and actually tame it for me, because she has the taming license as long as I uh, knock it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it to sleep with our scorpion friend here. Oh, come on, give me the headshot. Bonk! Oh boy. All right, well, th this might take a little while, but yeah, this is a 145. If we can get a thorny dragon, that would literally be absolutely insanely useful. So hopefully we can get this guy tamed. There we go. Oh man, dude, thornies have some pretty crazy damage resistance, but we should be able to knock it out relatively easily with our scorpion here at the very least. Hey peeps, editing Schwab here. I've just realized that the clips where Cobbs actually comes over and tames it is just missing for some reason. So I'm so sorry, Cobbs, that that clip has eluded me. But for everyone watching, she came over and not only tamed this thorny dragon for me, she also gave me a saddle as well as two more refining forges. So Cobbs was just the MVP of the beginning of this episode. And I'm so sad I, I don't have the clip. So yeah, peeps, just a massive shout out to Cobbs there for being just so kind to not only let me have that thorny dragon, but also give me a saddle for it and crafting those two uh, refining forges with really just not asking for anything in return. So definitely the next time we get our team slips, which is tomorrow, we're going to get another set of four teams. Oh, we got, we got a person here, but yeah, so she's definitely on the list to get a good one. Is this, uh, is this Cap? Hello? Hey, is this you? Hey, we, we meet again, fat dog. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did he just fall asleep? What? Uh, uh, yeah, I can hear you. Why did you just fall asleep? <laughs> um, are you dying? <laughs> what? Here, I'll take yeah. you in, I'll take you inside. <laughs> Here. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna it's, die. Oh, no, he died! <laughs> Oh, that's- oh god! It's the horse! 
<laughs> hey, peeps. Editing Schwab here yet again for another missed clip context. So the reason why we came to the saloon is because Rampy finally brought the Raptors for that group quest that we completed in the last episode. So we were able to cash in on an extra 300 coins. Look at this 350 coins. That is a very satisfying number. I don't even know what engrams I would like to go for right now. I haven't really given it much thought. I would like to go for cryopods, but I think I might wait until tomorrow to see what creatures I get from the dino dip, and that will really influence what I spend these coins on. But yes, peeps, so what are we doing today? Today, our end goal is going to be getting Iguanodons. At least one really good Iguanodon. If we can get a mated pair, that would be fantastic. But before we head out to do that, I want to go ahead and get Gilly. Because in the last episode, we unlocked the full set of Gilly. It cost us a pretty penny. At, I think almost 100 coins. And the only thing we need for this is Organic Polymer, which is very easy to get on Scorched Earth. We just need to kill some Mantis. So once this superheat ends, I think I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of our Cactus Soups. And by a couple, I, I guess I just mean, you know, the two that we have. And we're going to head out into the desert, kill, honestly, probably just one Mantis is all we need to kill. And then we'll be able to make a full set of Gilly. And that should hopefully, along with our relatively decent 36 Fortitude, should keep us safe from any heat in the game except for probably super heats but as long as we could survive generic heat without uh slowly dying that would be huge plus gilly is going to be good for sneaking around not being spotted by wild creatures which might help us today it might not and i wonder if it works against like stuff like perlovia because that would be really nice because i imagine the guanodons are near water and perlos are also <laughs> very commonly found near water so yes i'm gonna see you peeps once this superheat ends and once we murder our first scorpion and here we are our first oh are you kidding me dude our first mantis is a 150 no way gosh dang it that is genuinely heartbreaking but you know We've got to do it. All right, and, uh, all right. Looks like Mantis cannot be headshot. That is so sad. And it's a beautiful Mantis as well. But this Mantis is... Oh, wow, that damage. Yeah, this Mantis is not going to last until, uh, until someone can tame it, unfortunately. But there we go. 36 Prime. Or not Prime, but... Uh, what is this called? Organic Polymer. Dude, that, that's actually painful having to kill that Mantis. But... We should now be able to make maybe a full set of Gilly. Yes, a full set of Gilly. All right, let's also go ahead and grab some thatch so we can make the desert Gilly because I haven't actually seen it before and uh, I, I want to know what it looks like. All right, so let's go ahead, throw on the Gilly. This is also a perfect time to test it because we are overheating. So let's see if Gilly is enough to prevent us from overheating. And it's not. <laughs> Why? Why not? What? Are, all right, so our heat resist with full ghillie is 255. What is it with our cloth? 172. Okay, so it's a lot better. It's just really, really hot out right now. But here we go. Let's see what desert ghillie looks like. Let's go ahead and put on these, this, and oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I... Uh, is that a cactus? That's a cactus on my shoulder. That's amazing. Yep, that is... Here, wait, let's hide the hat. There we go. Wow, that is actually pretty convincing, actually. All right, there we go. Do I want to rock the ghillie look, or do I want to... Do I want to stick with my cowboy outfit? I don't know. I don't know, peeps. All right, but let's go ahead and, uh, I guess, begin the search for some iguanodons. I'm all the way down here by Greenob, because this is one of the points that they spawn in at, but unfortunately... Uh, they, they're uncommon at best, and they have extremely small spawn points, so we, we, we might have to rely on a little bit of luck today, peeps, to actually get an iguanodon. But if we do, I went ahead and made 13 tranquilizer darts for 5090, 
And as a backup, I have some Trank Arrows with a normal bow. We no longer have any crossbows because I had to give all of my crossbows back to Roz because that's where I got all of them from in the first place. So, uh, yeah, so hopefully our Trank Darts are enough. And if not, then we'll have to fall back on the arrows to hopefully finish the job. All right, but yep, I guess I'm going to get to searching and I'll bring you peeps back if I find a good one. Oh, people are trading generators. I wonder, I wonder if anyone would be willing to take a full set of Gilly for a generator. Cause Gilly, I imagine is going to be pretty high value. And if someone already has a generator unlocked, they might be willing to trade one of their generators for a full set of Gilly that I make for them. Oh my gosh, wait, peeps. I'm out here fighting Mantis. Oh, Sickle is actually so nice. I just got <laughs> an electric prod, so we could potentially knock someone out. Uh, just if, if we find someone, that could be pretty fun. But uh, yeah, so it's still no Iguanodon. I, I'm all the way over here because on, on, on the uh, wiki, it says that up here, for some reason, is a potential spawn. And I was like, you know, why not? I haven't seen them anywhere else maybe i'll find one over here for some reason but nope that is not the case <laughs> oh hey how's it going hey crabby how look are like you a little you look like a straw man yeah a little bit so crabby do you have a generator unlocked by any chance uh, no i paid three bucks for one i oh. don't have it unlocked gotcha gotcha do you have a? Uh, do you have anything in the fabricated tier? Yeah. If I'm a cheapskate living in a two by two. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I just I just passed your base. You had a. Your two... wolf looks like the water the watermelon's mom. Watermelon's mom. Yeah. I had a wolf named watermelon. Were you impressed by the two by two? Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty nice. You you got a nice little spring of water next to you. Quite the vacation home. I've got a little hot tub. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, although I would argue that yeah, all bodies yeah, of nice water tub. on Scorched Earth are hot tubs. Who is this? Hello. Oh, Kaya. Nightmare. Hello. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> is, this, is this your base, Kaya? Yeah. Did, yeah at, at, at the, the very... Nice little yeah, at the very <laughs> beginning of the season, I jumped off of that giant oh. rock up there and parachuted into your base, and then I... I couldn't get out, so I had to kill myself. Well, that's so funny. <laughs> yeah. You can't jump into the water down below, Provide. Oh, my uh, my brain was too small to figure that out. What are you doing up here then? Well, I yeah, I what was are you doing up here? I was I looking for iguanodons, and I have been looking for oh. hours, and I haven't even spotted one, let alone a high level. So <laughs> I figured Does I'd go around. Know where oh. iguanodons spawn? Yeah, it's they. Uh, green, I've, I've looked. It? I've looked where they spawn on on the wiki, and I've checked literally every spawn on the map, and there's just none. So either I am blind or unlucky. <laughs> but yeah. So the reason <laughs> I'm over here yeah. is because um, I've got Gilly unlocked, as you can see, and I'm wanting to see if anyone wants to trade a, a generator for a full set of Gilly. Oh, but, I yeah. think Sanix is. Yeah. Uh, is selling generators on the cheap for three bucks. Oh, oh, I wonder yeah. if he, I wonder if he'd be willing to accept uh, Gilly's dude. People say yeah. the South. You're in the wrong part of town. Yeah, I know. Like I said, I get, I, oh. I pseudo, I, I kind of gave up because I was going insane. Uh, so I, I, I just came, I, I ran along the river to see, like I said, if anyone wanted to trade for a generator with my Gilly suit. I got fridges, but I ain't got Jenny's. Okay, I, I'll grab it. I'll take a fridge off you if you wanna, one, like, if you want a Gilly suit. Like, Ooh. Yeah, you know, yeah, it'd save me from making one, why not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys. The refrigerator. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Alright, as promised, here is your ghillie suit. Hey, thank you very much, sir. Thank you for the trade. You're <laughs> welcome. Thank you for the refrigerator. Now I just need a generator to power it. <laughs> yeah! 
I honestly did go trade for Sanex because he's only given them away for like free gold, so it's worth it. Because yeah. you're only really gonna need one, right? So. Yeah, true. All right, see yeah. you later, Kaya. Thank you for the see thing. Ya. All right, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> All right, we're getting we're getting fabricated stuff. We just uh, now we just need a generator and we'll be able to store things really well. I think uh, yeah, she told me. Where Sanix's base is, that's over there. So I'm gonna head on home, make another ghillie suit, and see if I could trade him a generator. Oh, I think this might be a player. Yep, this is a this is a person. Hi. Oh gosh, who is this? <gasps> Fender. Let's uh, let's go talk to him. Can you hear me? Hello. How's it going, man? I'm doing. I well, I mean. I'm looking for iguanodons, and that's going about as well as oh, could be expected. Yeah, that's pretty. That's gonna suck. Yeah, it, it does. Oh, goodbye, Pego. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, say, Fender, do you have any uh, cryopods? Um, I've got a couple. Do you have a? You also have a generator? I can't make you a generator, but I have one. Oh, you don't have it unlocked. No, I bought it. Uh, all right. Well, could you make me cryopods, maybe? I could. I could. I have ten, and I'm willing to part with some of them. All right. Well, I happen to have ten. a spare ghillie suit on me, so uh, I'm a, Would you? Would you be interested in a ghillie suit? Uh. Okay. We want like what four cryopods for a ghillie suit? Uh. Yeah, I'll take four. You take four. Okay. Four and some lore. We explain, explain whatever happened yesterday. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, my pleasure. Yeah, so so I got a a message from one of my YouTube members on the Discord uh, that Ross was streaming, and they they told me to go mess with him, and they gave me his coordinates. So I was like, bet. So okay. I grabbed <laughs> some narco nades, and um, I ran over to him, and I knocked him out with the nades, and. And uh, I dragged him out of his base. I took all of his stuff and trapped him in a box and just and just ran away. Uh, later, <laughs> I I felt bad and and brought one of my wolves back to his base to to give to him. And I I returned all of his stuff on on the wolf. So I gave him his, a wolf and all of his stuff back except for a crossbow. I kept the crossbow. He did not like that I kept the crossbow. So he came to my <laughs> base. Yeah. To try yeah, and I, I gave him a specific deal for the crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he came over to try and get the stuff back. Um, he died quite a few times. Uh, he died three times. He was able to kill me once, and uh, oh no, yeah. And then this morning, I thought he was done, but this morning I I, I log in and my character has been ransacked. I like half my items are missing because I I left my. My door open overnight so he was able to get yeah, in yeah uh but that wasn't all that he did because as soon as i accessed my preserving bin i found out the hard way that he rigged c4 to multiple of my structures so half of my base oh, no. instantly detonated as soon as <laughs> oh, as no. soon as i uh yeah did that uh yeah that was uh, that was very interesting and a nice way to start the morning oh no yeah <laughs> Yeah, but we uh we made up. Yeah, he uh he helped me rebuild and I gave him I gave him like the desert cloth and the crossbow back and he gave me uh my gun okay. back and then and, and gave me some building materials. So we're we're all he good now. He offline you man. You got offline by Ron. <laughs> yeah. Well, he uh, the reason why he booby trapped my stuff is because he didn't want to offline me. So like like I was technically uh, online when it exploded, right? So at least I, mean, kinda, I was able to. Uh, I can't, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like it's a little, it's a little questionable, but at least I was able to get all my stuff back. If you don't get a cryo fridge, I'll just charge your cryopods for free when you come back. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Oh sweet! I'll just take care you of still, it. You still, you yeah. still, you still need the cryo fridge to throw things out, though, right? Oh yeah, and nearby. You're right. Oh. Yeah. Well, I don't know. But uh, would you be willing to? Chips. Ask oh. chips. Oh, okay. All right, I'll have to find. Yeah, I have to find Sanix for a generator, and I have to. I guess so now I have to find ships for uh, a Cryofrid. You want a generator? I can give you a generator. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, or a, or a turbine. I got both. Oh. 
I uh, I don't know what the wind level at my base is. I don't know how well, how good a turbine would be. They're just for the thunderstorms when if they ever get them working properly, they destroy your generators. So oh, if you wow. don't have them unlocked, yeah. Yeah, they don't destroy turbines though. No turbine. Mm -mm. Oh. Oh, you know what? I might uh I might have to buy a buy a turbine off you. Okay. Okay. Uh, I what? also, I have oil rigs if you need those. Yeah, I saw, I ran past one of yours earlier. That's how I found out they were locked because I tried to see if I could get into it. <laughs> <laughs> I was considering running an oil monopoly on the monarchy. <laughs> I was thinking about it. You just put an oil pump on every single oil node? I exactly, yeah, just be big oil. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the Rockefeller playthrough? That's right, yeah. yeah. Fender Feller. Fender Feller. Well, um, I also, I happen to have three crown coins on me uh would you be willing to part okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got, I got your thing oh heck yeah oh yes wind oh, turbine oh careful. it's hefty all right and here yeah. is your three coins thanks man i appreciate you if all you right. end up needing a generator or something too just come on by and we'll hook you up Sweet. All right. If you end up beating me by three coins, I'm gonna be pretty upset. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. That'd be. I, I don't know. I, I think with the pure comedy, I wouldn't even. I, I couldn't even be upset. <laughs> Just clip this moment right here. Isn't yeah. It? Yeah. Have a flashback <laughs> moment at the very end of the season. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I am. I think I'm the. I'm the end of the line for monarchs. It doesn't get any deep than this so yeah all right well thank you so much <laughs> fender yeah thank you man that was really generous all right but uh i guess i'm gonna this, continue looking for iguanodons probably going insane yeah, doing yeah, yeah. it oh uh, well i guess Good i gotta luck, man i yeah. hear i hear green ob and south like back that way are the best but so far i've only seen in the south yeah i've literally checked every single spawn on the map i haven't seen a single one yet let alone a high level <laughs> Really? Yeah. So what's been working good for me is when, like, you, you just start killing a bunch of stuff and then leave the area and come back. Yeah. You can usually force a spawn. Yeah, like I said, I was, like, before I came over here, I was at Green Op for, like, an hour, just killing everything, running away, coming back, and just doing that. And I saw, like, a billion Morella Tops, but not a single one on. Alright. Well, best of luck. I'm in the process of moving because I clearly can't live here. It's dangerous. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a no bueno. Yeah, but yeah, see offender. I'll somewhere closer to you later, so we might be yeah, around maybe, more often. Yeah, maybe we'll be neighbors. <laughs> All right, uh, have a good one, man. You too. <laughs> bye bye. Awesome, dude. So that's huge. We now have cryopods and a generator. We're getting, we're getting, like crazy trades today. I'm gonna be so sad if, uh, if this red drop disappears right before I get to it. Oh come on, this will be my first red drop. Oh, dude. Don't I need that for the hatchery? <gasps> oh my God. Okay, yep, yeah, that's insanely useful. I'm gonna go make that right now. <laughs> I think I can also, I can also make the nanny. I'm gonna make both of these. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make both of those. And there we go. We now have a hatchery. Unfortunately, I don't think we have enough metal for the nanny, but I can go quickly grab some metal and have that smelting. We have the bee honey, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I should probably do that before that bee honey spoils. All right. Sweet. Uh, we need a generator to power it. So I'm going to, I'm just going to go ahead and store it for now. We, we just got that wind turbine. So that is actually perfect timing. Oh, dude, this is a great episode for getting uh, really nice structures. Ooh, we're almost actually there. In fact, yeah, right there. And then I can grab this. Yeah, and now we have enough metal. Sweet. So I can actually make both of these structures right now. Dude, I bet people would pay crazy amounts to get these, wouldn't they? I know I would. All right, but there we go. Annie and Hatchery. Yeah, if we find any more sweet veggie cakes... I'm super going to start selling those because, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm going to sell those for gold. Oh, dude, I could be real mean. No, dude, that's that's crazy. 
Ross, you've got coins here, buddy. Yeah, yeah you've got yeah in here. These are, are I think you've got coins left by uh someone for you. By who? I don't I don't know. Uh, whoever S G B G is. It's uh, there's ten in there. Oh right. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. Questions, understandings. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, yeah, so I was coming over because I found a toy that I think you would really enjoy to have. Ooh, there's coins. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, um, do you have a fabricator by any chance? I do. Yeah, you had to unlock it to, to make the detonator, didn't you? <laughs> I did. <laughs> well, uh, I, I, I have one of these I got from a lovely creature, and I feel like this is right oh, yeah. up your alley. So, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, so if you <laughs> if you want, I can give you yeah. this and uh you can have some shenanigans later on. I figured you would you would enjoy that more than I would. But, uh I mean Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, yeah I, I feel like something's going to happen. Um yeah. Um, no, I was going to ask you I was going to ask uh if you could give me a fabricator for it. But I, I, oh. I, now that I'm here, I'm realizing that's maybe an unfair trade. <laughs> well, I mean, it's all right, though. <laughs> it's not something I really need. Yeah, <laughs> but I figured lie. I figured you'd like to. You would go up to someone, just mess with them, because I know you like oh, pranking people. Keep, keep the prods. Keep the prods. Like, if you need a fabby, what have you got, man? But let's let's talk. Let's talk. I, well, I've been needing stuff. Well, oh, are you in need of uh, perhaps a full set of gilly? Ooh, ooh! I oh, could have been handy, couldn't it? Yeah, especially yeah. considering it's about a hundred coins to unlock. Wow! Oh, yeah, that's, that, that's a, I'd say that's a fair trade. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you have do you have a cryo fridge? Uh, I do. Oh, I would much prefer a cryo fridge. I I wish I could give you one. Sadly, it was not mine. It's not oh. mine to give. Do everyone that I see has a cryo fridge? Didn't. I got it from someone else. I gotta find the original chips. source. Chips yeah. is the source. Is yeah, the I don't line. think is I don't think chips is online line. right now, unfortunately. Uh, all right. Well, um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm down for a like, yeah, fa fabby for some gilly. I can, I can, I can go with that. Yeah, yeah, I'll swing yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. All right. All, right. all right. I'll um, if you can go craft it, I'll just chill right here because uh, I noticed that there is a plant species over there, which is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, have, have a, have, I'll give you one guess why he's there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think uh, I think I know the answer to that one. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my distance well over here and uh, um, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Have you, well, have you got the ghillie on you? Yeah. Oh, sweet. All right, give me a second. I'll be back. Yo 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 yo. Hello. There you go. There you go. I put it in the box. Oh, wonderful. Here you go. <laughs> All right, no, you be you, you, you be much. safe with that ghillie. Oh. Happy days. I'm, I'm, it'll definitely come in favor for the right the right time. I'm sure. Yeah, you uh, won't have to worry about yeah, losing desert. desert cloth anymore. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, well, on the bright side, I've got like like so many sets of desert gear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, I'm glad I was here to remind you to get your gold that was actually pretty well timed that was super timed i, I was a, a bit nervous i was like what's going on why how do you know like yeah well there we go yeah because I, <laughs> I i walked up because I, I, I came up to your base earlier to try and find you but uh, i didn't think yeah. you were home and and yeah. this box is new this wasn't here last time so I was, like, I was like oh what's this and it was gold and i was i was like i was like whoa i i should probably let him know and you just happened to come out so it was really well timed it was, it was Beautiful times like it was uh, meant to be. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I was tempted. Yeah. I was tempted to take it, but uh, I bet you was. <laughs> yeah, well, it's t it's ten gold. That's a that's a lot of gold. <laughs> well, I didn't I didn't even you know what's amazing. Like I I, I uh, well yeah, I, I was in need of gold. Like I, I just had the pego, <laughs> yeah. and like Cubs was like, uh, I really want that pego, and I was like, I, I get yeah, ten ten gold, and uh, she was like, she didn't even hesitate. She just went for it. I was like, sweet. Oh wow! Didn't expect it, yeah. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and I just paid like, and I paid Sonic's like three gold for uh, his uh, for a Jenny. So 
I know. I feel like I've, I've, it's a bit, been a bit of a win-win. Yeah, I uh, I also just paid three gold, but I, I paid for a wind turbine because I'm I'm scared that wildcard they're gonna fix the electrical storms, that and they'll break generators again. So I, I want to go with the yeah. safe route for it with a wind turbine. Oh damn! He's, he's selling wind turbines for three jennies, three coins as well. Um. Oh, well, I don't I don't know if he's doing that, but uh, I I was I just happened to be at his base and I traded him some uh, traded for some cryopods. And I was like, I was like, hey, do you also have these? Because I have three gold. Because I was gonna trade, uh, I was gonna trade Senex, but he's not online right now. I don't think. So it just happened to be convenient. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. 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 Well, right. well uh, yeah, yeah. I, I was just about to log off. Well, I was just about to go and see where the hell metal is. But, oh, um, dude, getting metal on this map is is a journey. Yes. <laughs> Super ass. Like I think I've got to go all the way over there to those mountains <laughs> yep, to get probably. any like decent, decent bit of metal. But yeah, at least you got Morella yeah, tops that can carry a decent amount. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I guess it's like one bonus to, yeah. to not getting wolves. <laughs> yeah, dude. As as much as I love my wolves, three hundred weight does not equal a lot of metal per run. That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah I've been yeah. I've been going crazy trying to find stupid iguanodons. Not found it yet. No, Dude, I haven't. I haven't seen one, let alone a high level. Oh. <laughs> I, I've been out here since like, uh, well, I guess time zones, but yeah, literally yeah. five hours for me. I've I've been out here looking. I guarantee the second you stop looking and give up, it will appear. Oh, you know <laughs> it. You know it. It's, yeah. it's the arc yeah. curse. Yeah. Ark is Ark. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, GG, man. Thank you for the killer. Yeah, uh, thank you for the, the fabricator. Uh, Alright, okay, see you later. Uh, I'll, I'll catch you later. I wonder, uh, wonder if I should have took that gold. <laughs> you know, obviously not, but it would have been would have been real nice. Actually, getting a getting a fabricator is kind of big because I was thinking that getting a fabricator was would be a little bit of a waste because I thought to craft anything fabricated you would need the fabricator as a prereq, but that's not always the case because with the fabricated pistol here, oh, the only required engram is the normal pistol. So that could have been like that might have actually been a pretty good play for us if we ever want to actually unlock some fabricated tier stuff to make without having to then also unlock the fabricator. We're being extremely economical. Is that a word? Economical? Economic? I don't know, but uh, we're being real good with money in this episode, peeps. Now, if only we could be good with finding iguanodons. Oh, here's a base. Is this Vino? And, oh, oh, this is chips. Oh, finally, I've been looking for this. Okay, so apparently Chips has cryo fridges. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump down there and I'm gonna leave a note at his base asking him if he would like to trade and that if he does, then I will leave a set of ghillie for him at my base and all he'll have to do is uh, is go to my mailbox and, and pick it up if he wants it and then also drop off my cryo fridge. And if we can get a cryo fridge out of this, then this ghillie has been... <laughs> more than worth it. I guess let's go see if he has an open mailbox first, and if not, I'll go ahead and make a box with a note in it. All right, I hope he sees this. His base is right up there, and I've built a large decorative storage box here that can contain one item, and uh, and I've put a note here. So this is, hello, chips. I have a trade offer minus one cryo fridge for plus full ghillie set. If agreeable, leave an unlocked box in your base containing the fridge. I will drop off the ghillie and take the fridge. Now, I wanted to <laughs> sign my name so he knows he's making this trade offer, but there's literally no more room in the note. So that's all I can put. So it's like kind of ominously mysterious. But I think that makes it a lot funnier, so it'll be interesting to see if he actually does take this trade. And uh, and yeah, I guess we'll find out when we return tomorrow. But yes, Beef, speaking of tomorrow, it's going to be a very busy day. We're getting a new dino dip as well as a new set of quests. It's the beginning of week two out of week six. And unfortunately, we didn't find an iguanodon in this episode. Uh, they're just... They're just so rare for some reason on this map. We couldn't even find one in all of the time I spent searching. So 
I think we're going to go ahead and give up on the Iguanodon. Hopefully, we get another really solid transporting creature in the next episode. Where again, I'm crossing my fingers and hoping for a Procoptodon. But if not, maybe we can at least buy an Iguanodon from someone or even a Procoptodon. I think, yeah, after tomorrow, I'm really just leaving the Iguanodon behind in the hopes of getting a Procoptodon either tamed or traded but yes peeps i am gonna go ahead and end this episode here was still a wildly successful episode this gilly has taken us far it was a huge 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 coin investment but i think for the amount of stuff that we have been able to trade and will likely continue to trade it's going to more than pay off so yes thank you all so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you all in the next video Bye-bye. Oh, the poor Saber has no hope.